it's going to be a, definitely an interesting weekend for us. It's a double header, so um, you know, as a driver, it um, makes it very physically demanding. I'm not sure people realise how physical these cars are to drive, but then you add heat into the equation, and then um, it becomes a lot more difficult. We use maths and science every day because, in particular, the challenges we face now are big data. We are getting huge amounts of information on our products that we never used to get. And what we're increasingly looking to do is work with people who give us those skills to be able to predict the answer, to be able to model. So maths and science are absolutely critical to what we do. I use math every day for my job, whether it's calculating areas or volumes or speeds or accelerations or forces. We, we use it to help us design the engine so that we can make all the components inside the engine um, really strong so that they last the distance, um, but really lightweight so that the engine can be powerful as well. It's a great opportunity. Um, a lot of times, we're at, um, as a teacher, we're talking about these ideas and concepts, and sometimes when, it, when the students actually see and they actually hear real people doing real jobs, then it actually makes a connection between them. It's great to see people in that field actually life to life. It's been kind of like a role model for me. It is a great opportunity to explain to them the ins and outs of uh, you know, a race weekend and you know, how math and science applies to motorsport a lot. The energy industry is facing a period of tremendous change and that pace of change is accelerating and we need the next generation of scientists and innovators to help us solve the energy challenge. This is really exciting for me and I, I was really excited to see that video and to see actual race car people and the engineers. I really was really excited and interested. This has been a, probably one of those extraordinary moments in my life where I will never forget.